It's Friday the 28th of June, this is Talking Red, I'm Andy Heaton, this is John Gibbons, and we've had a bit of sunshine. I know you yeah. can't see it here, like, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I came in yesterday and everyone was in shorts and I was a bit gutted um, that, you know, that, that I'd have missed a memo or, or hadn't thought ahead. So I'm in shorts today. So it is beautiful in the city of Liverpool uh, just in time for the weekend, which is great. That's it. And what a weekend the promises to be. So bang into the uh, transfer rumours again. It's been a little bit quiet over the last couple of weeks. I'm still sure Liverpool are working on a big one. But being linked in the past weekend, more quotes from Junior Firpo from uh, the uh, Spanish Under-21 International, I believe. Yeah, he's been playing in the tournament for Spain. Um, they've actually reached the final, so uh, they reached the final of the Under-21 tournaments. He did give away a penalty in the semi-final, I believe, but you know, still got through. So he's been playing away in that. So maybe they wait until that tournament's finished and they're going to announce Firpo. Yeah, well, I mean, he was asked directly uh, about rumours linking him with a 50 million euro move away from uh, from Porto, and, and he said, uh, to quote the market, I don't think about it. I've said many times before. We are playing for a very important trophy. But then he followed that with, I'd also like to experience other countries, but first I want to think about feelings about the championships. We'll see. Come and get me, play if I've ever yeah, heard of. Not very, not very committal, lads. <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, Liverpool have distanced themselves from this. And, you know, but I'd, other, other, certain outlets have linked them with us around 50 million euros for, even if it turns out to be the second best left back in European football. Tracking. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Uh, depends what they see in him. Suppose they might see someone who can play in a number of different positions. They might see someone who can you can sort of really develop into something you know top class. So it depends. You know, I think at Liverpool they look at skills, don't they, rather than get kind of caught down in positions. And so, uh, and also the money being thrown around at the moment might not be anything close to what Liverpool think they, they are willing to pay or might get him for. So. Yeah, watch the space on that one, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go later. We're going to go later in the show in the second half of this, but we may as well just stick with transfers. Rafa Camacho exited stage left to uh, Sport in Lisbon, five million with a potential for the, the deal to rise. You, you know a lot more about Camacho than I. Do. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. He's a really talented player. Uh, obviously, he's had some first team action. Um, and it hasn't quite worked out for him. I don't think he was thrilled about the idea of him playing, you know, right back. I don't think he necessarily saw himself in that way and didn't necessarily agree that that's how he saw his short term future. So it looks like they've decided that, you know, he doesn't want to sign a new contract. So it's best that if he goes away, he goes over to Lisbon, uh, gets more first team football, maybe uh, in a more attacking position and see how he, he develops. Um, They've got a really good fee, it should be said, considering he's only got one year left in his deal. Obviously, he would have got close enough in football for him if he'd have left last summer. So, they've got a really good fee, uh, but I think Sporting have got a really good player and as the, well. There's a buyback clause in there, apparently, as well. There is, yeah. We've yet to see someone be bought back, but still. Well, well some, yeah, it's interesting that they've put that in. Um, sometimes, I mean, I've seen other clubs buy back players just to sell them for more <laughs> later, yeah. the, later on. But, um, you know, so, so obviously, if he does progress how a lot of people think he might do, including me. I think he'll be a Portuguese international, but I think a, a lot of people, if you know, if he does progress the, the way that he's expected to, if you like, that the, there is the option there to, to get him back. There's also a fairly hefty sell on, on fee as well. So, you know, you, you, that 20%, uh, which which could make the club a few quid in the future if Liverpool decide uh, not to bring him back. And then the kid, I mean, just lastly on this, the kid must be pretty sure of himself to basically want to leave because he's not being played where he wants to be played, given how Liverpool have promoted players and, you know, there is a clear pathway to the first team there. Or is maybe that that's it because, you know, Trent's there and... Yeah, no, it is. It shows he is very sure of himself. But look, Liverpool, you know, beat off a list of suitors to bring him here and so you know he's you know he's he's not just a, he's not a young scout lad who's kind of come through he's suddenly started throwing his weights around you know Liverpool you know would have made him certain assurances when they, when they brought him in and then maybe he's just not quite happy with with how he's being used maybe he's right maybe he's wrong who knows but I mean time will tell I suppose but at the moment he's going somewhere else he probably will play more, more first team football there and we'll see how he gets on. Uh, talking about Liverpool players um, mm. away on international, <clears throat> there's, there's, there's another one of Liverpool's players away on international duty in the African Cup of Nations. Naby Keita um, is going to miss Guinea's opener against Nigeria. Kind of expected, to say. Yeah, it, it was a little surprise to me, to be honest, that he was that he was picked anyway. It just shows how key he is. 
you know, to their chances. He's, I mean, he's a huge star there, obviously, you know, by far the most famous player. And so they'd have really wanted to have him there. Um, so it looks to me like one of those where they've picked him, but, but he's still not quite right. You know, look at Mo Salah last year in the World Cup where, where he, he never, you know, he obviously missed the first game as well and just never really looked quite, quite sure. But, you know, for the boost of having him there and for the option of maybe getting him for, for later in the tournament, um, they, they, they've decided to take him. So... Fair play, uh, see how he goes. Uh, Senegal got beat, I noticed as well. Uh, Sadio Mane uh, lost his first game, so 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 not not brilliant for the uh, the Liverpool boys so far in the Africa Cup of Nations. I'm sorry, I'm going to get him home early. <laughs> Lose all of them, get him back. Yeah, yeah, get well, him on holiday and get him back to Melbourne. We'll see, I think Egypt might do well. Well, we'll see. Um, other matters pertaining, uh, we have an app. If you don't know, why don't you know? There's something that we want you to know. We've got an app out, and here's a little video about it. Yeah, so that's the app. Uh, it is the best way to enjoy the Anfield app content, especially as from next week, um, all the videos you see on our YouTube channel, apart from talking about it, it's all going behind the paywall. Um, so there's a price change at the Anfield app. There's new tiers coming in. So it's £7 for all your audio, £7 for all the video, and £10 for both. These Talking Red shows are staying free in the morning, just like our free audio shows on Monday and Friday. But for our subscription services, uh, which is everything else, uh, we, we do day to day it's £7 for audio £7 for video or £10 for both you can upgrade now if you're already subscribed, then you won't it won't change until the next time you are billed. So you won't be will be billed straight away. Just the next time do you are do, do we do take money from your account? It will go up to seven or ten, whatever you go for. So you can do that from now, but the paywall goes down from next week, and then that's where all the other video and all, all the extra audio uh, will be behind there. And but we do think the app is the best place for you to enjoy all the Anfield app content in one place. So yeah, download that. Talking about the best place, Liverpool, the best place for. Liverpool football players, any football player, the best football players. I want to talk about Oxley Chamberlain. Okay. Um, so one thing I've been really impressed with over the last couple of years is the, uh, the content that LFC TV put out. You know the videos they put out with, yeah. especially the ones with the kids. Yeah. And uh, they've come up with this concept that the lie detector test, and uh, they've had Oxley Chamberlain in, and um, he's uh, he's lost the bet with Andy Robertson. Um, so basically now he's got to uh, Oxley Chamberlain's got it signed. Lionel Messi shares in his living room, right. or whatever it is, his house is third living room, fourth living room. God knows what room it's in. How many living rooms do you think he's got? Uh, I think two, but two. I think there's like just others like he calls just something else. Yeah, like when guests come round and all that, the best yeah, exactly. and all that kind of game. Anyway, so Oxley Chamberlain made Andy Robertson a bet. What if Andy Robertson didn't make ten Premier League assists last year? Andy Robertson have to put a signed Oxley Chamberlain shirt up in his house. But fortunately for, for us and Liverpool, Andy Robertson um, Andy Robertson got 11. So yeah, proud of the place next to Leo Messi. That came out on the latest LFC TV lie detector test where Liverpool footballers get grilled by little people. Well, it's academy players, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, yeah so, they're, so they're a bit cheeky, uh, like you know, our young footballers are. So they're really good, aren't they? Yeah, no, it is good. It is. I've already watched the sort of first half of it, but Liverpool are doing these, as you say, doing these nice videos at the moment, doing them with with the sponsors as well. So obviously, the, the Nivea Father's Day one was really nice. This one's with uh, Dewey Jerry. How do you pronounce it? The car seat people. Um, so yeah, so they've done it with that. So yeah, they are doing, doing, doing these little fun things with players at the moment. So I'm enjoying it. The yeah, the Father's Day one. I, I I haven't told you this, Bernie, the lad who, who gets Van Dyke, I know Bernie. Okay. And I didn't know anything about the video until the day come out and yeah. get on this, get on this. Honestly. And you know the way the way sometimes you think these things are staged, it genuinely wasn't. It, it, was, it was so, so happy and it was so well done. They're brilliant, you know, and it's really good to see. And I know everyone gets a little bit cynical about that, but you know, they are really cool, aren't they? Anyway, uh Tom Oxley Chamberlain, Instagram account. He's um photo went up on his Instagram yesterday in the nineteen ninety-six Ecru. 
Uh, away kit. Yeah, yeah. Are they Call reissuing fire? those? Did it reissue the loads of them? Uh, yeah, it was originally. Re- I haven't seen any in the club shop. Are they just online? I or? think they're just online. So basically, it's a, an exact copy, bar the, the the manufacturer's badge on the on on the side yeah. of the '96 Acro kit, which was wild when it came out. If you remember, there was a bit of a reaction to it. It was big. There was the famous photo shoot, wasn't there, where the the uh, four of the players dressed up as the Beatles. I think it was like McAteer and uh, Fowler, McManaman, all in the kind of Beatles wigs, um, because it was. To a bit of a sort of a throwback, I think. I, I think it was that case anyway. But yeah, the Ecru one got a lot of um, a lot of attention. But um, I mean, I don't think any of them looked as cool as Alex Oxley Chamberlain does in his. Like you know, he's you know he's got modern good looks. Has he got the sunglasses on in that picture and all that? Yeah, he looks the business. He's got he like so. What leads on to the next question? What, what's your last, your last, your favourite? Off the wall away kids over the last what say twenty years or so? Um, Not like a generic one. You like you. In terms of like, I like the. In terms of to play, and I like the mad one. So like the toxic thunder and all that. I always think the better to see your teammates it is the better so any of those I wouldn't necessarily bounce around town in a toxic thunder but like you know to, to wear it and we brought the thunder in that kit it must be said they had a lot of wins a lot of wins and with that I mean personally I like the purple one from last year well you know we are where we are I'm excited to see the Liverpool stay kit should be out shortly but we shall see um, also finally just to wrap up a couple of things uh, native to us uh, the embodiment of Liverpool John yeah, we're going to do an award. Um, we're going to do an award for the summer. It's based on last season, but it's not just based on performances, although that's part of it. It's which player we think um, embodies Liverpool Football Club the best. So which which player feels like you know he's he's us on the pitch. Which player feels like you know he's he's everything that a Liverpool player should be. So it's obviously in terms of quality because that's important, but also spirit in terms of determination, in terms of effort. How they celebrate the goals, how much they, they kind of love the club, and how much they feel like they'd be what you'd be like if you play for Liverpool. So that's what we're going to do. So that's going to be running from Monday. So we're going to set that up over the weekend. They'll be ready to vote on Monday. Uh, we're all individually going to give our little pitches for who we think we should win it. So if you're not sure, over two or three, then I'm gone. Uh, see what the lads and girls think, and then uh, make a decision. Sounds like a really good band this filth, actually. With the extrapolation. I know we're going no, to do it across the street. No, it's too nice. It's too nice. Use it all mean to each other on band this filth. I want this to be a positive award, uh, positive only uh, for, for the European champions. So, so I can't do my normal canvas and tactics, no? You can canvas if you want, but you just can't call Neil Dockin a prick. Right. Oh, on this bit. On this bit. Okay, yeah, sound yeah, yeah. right. Shows today, uh, weekend is already out. We also have a gutter being recorded right after this. And then we've got a Slingsby AFQ this evening, so keep your ears out. All the content's still coming through. Uh, last bit of admin, we are going, well, you are going to America. I know, you're going to Turkey. Uh, I'm going to Turkey. <laughs> we are going over to America. Yeah, we're going over on the tour again. We absolutely can't wait. Uh, we're going to do live shows in Chicago the night before the game in Notre Dame. And we're going to do a live show in New York two nights before the game, so that's the Monday night uh, before the game in Carragher's. So tickets are on sale now. If you go to see tickets, uh, type in the Anfield app. Yeah, that's, yep, that's the it. one, yep. yeah. Yeah, uh, then then all the tickets are on there. They are selling fast. So this isn't a pitch, by the way. We're not on a, on yeah. a bike. They are, they are selling yeah. fast. We've had to put more on sale, yeah, basically. Yeah, so especially if you're in New York, uh, I would hurry if you want to come along to that because it's a bit of a smaller venue. Uh, the, Chicago is a little bit bigger, so we've got a little bit more space there. Um, but both of them selling really, really well, probably better than, than we've ever sold in America in terms of speed. So, yeah, if you do want to come to those events, then, yeah, get involved. If you're in Boston and you're like, why aren't we coming to Boston? We are going to Boston. We, uh, the, the time in Boston is just basically a little bit tight. Uh, uh, there's only two days between the game in Notre Dame and Boston, so I think it looks like we're going to get involved in some of the stuff the club are doing, which is really good. So we're going to be, we are, you are going to see me with a microphone in Boston, just, so you're not worried. I just had the thought, should go to the Beatles, America, Ecru Kits, walk on stage. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, if, uh, if if LFC Retail want to hook us up... Um, they'll yeah. do it. Put enough pressure on, they'll do it. I no pressure at all. Just send it. Send it. XL I am. There you go. Talking Reds. Thanks again. See you next week.